Good morning, Bluegrass. I'm Anna Hunter, and boy did I. <laughs> it is just a beautiful day out this morning. Today is Monday, December 31st, 1987, and I'm sitting next to my extremely gorgeous co-acre, Jenny Ryder. Jenny, how are you this morning? Well, Manny, I'm just doing fine and dandy. And do we have a special treat for our viewers this morning? Oh boy, oh boy, we certainly do. You know, we've reported prestigious news all year long, but today is dedicated to recapping the year with all the news that never made the air, for one reason or another. You betcha, Manny. These stories that we are about to air have no relevance to absolutely anything at all. I'm totally stoked. It was an embarrassing afternoon for cyclist Johnny Douche, who became the first cyclist ever to taste sweet victory. He could see the finish, and he practically had the gold. However, as the cyclist poser approached the finish line, he got a little too excited and threw his hands up into the air. He had his own masturbation before he even crossed the finish line. Douche lost control of his bike and crashed into the pavement. At this point, the rider in second place, Sam Winslot, proceeded to pass Douche, who was running with his bicycle to win the race. Douche was later seen crying with his silver medal behind the porta potty. Smooth move, poopy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how I can live with myself after th something like that. But you know, Jenny, sometimes I don't know how I can live without you. Oh, hush, Manny. And in other news, a family reunion in Flemingsburg, Kentucky, got out of hand as people continued to drink into the early morning hours. Local police said that the individuals pictured here consumed 191 Bud Ice cans throughout the course of the night. Police believe this may be the reason that the family stripped into the nude and comfortably bathed in their makeshift hot tub. I don't know about you, Jenny, but that's kind of grody. You couldn't be more right, Manny. <clears throat> I just threw up in my mouth a little when I saw that picture. What kind of bogus family acts like this? And now some bizarre footage taken from a houseboat on Lake Cumberland earlier this year. An elderly man was filming his buddies kayaking several hundred feet away from his boat when a killer whale appeared out of nowhere. The whale rocketed out of the water and landed directly on top of Chucky Lucky and his kayak. The weight and water suction from Moby Dick took Lucky underwater to a depth of approximately 12 feet. Lucky for Lucky, he appeared moments later and appeared to be fine. Reports confirmed that Lucky actually appeared to be pretty stoked, but later went into some type of psychological shock. Lucky currently is in a mental facility where he thinks he is a merman. <laughs> what a doofus. Wow, what amazing footage. I didn't know that there were big fish out there. Oh, you better believe it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. that's all the news for now. Stay tuned. Next is our local forecast. Good Morning Bluegrass was brought to you commercial free by Levesque Scotch. If it's not Levesque and it's not 12 years old, then it's garbage. You know, today's New Year's Day, New Year's Eve Day, and it's never too early to start boozing. We want to wish you a happy new year. You stay safe out there, Kentucky. And don't forget to have some fun tonight. 